Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, I was just looking over some of my email. Let's see, today's Friday, December 13th. It's 3.06 p.m. And a lot of you probably already know this. For those of you who haven't heard it, Judiciary Committee approves articles of impeachment against Trump. GOP slams kangaroo court. That's in quotes. Kangaroo court is in quotes. Or, yeah. It's by Adam Shaw of Fox News, and it was published five hours ago. So it's pretty new news. It says the House Judiciary Committee on Friday voted to adopt two articles of impeachment against President Trump. Capping a contentious three-day session that Republicans panned as a kangaroo court and teeing up a historic floor vote right before the holiday break. The committee adopted both articles alleging abuse of power and obstruction of Congress on a party line vote of 23 to 17. A final roll call in the full house is expected next week which could trigger a Senate trial in the new year just as presidential primaries are set to get underway. Republicans erupt as Nadler suddenly postpones impeachment vote near midnight. Today is a solemn and sad day, Chairman Jerry Nadler, or Nadler, however you say that, Democrat of New York, told reporters after the vote. For the third time in a little over a century and a half, the House Judiciary Committee has voted articles of impeachment against the President for abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. The House will act expeditiously. After the vote, the White House released a scathing statement dismissing the inquiry as a charade. This does, this is quote now, quote, I, I can't do quote, I got a coffee in my hand. <laughs> it says, this desperate charade of an impeachment inquiry in the House Judiciary Committee has reached its shameful end, unquote, White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham said, quote, the President looks forward to receiving in the Senate, the fair treatment and due process which continues to be disgracefully denied to him by the House, unquote. The committee vote was preceded by fireworks on Thursday night when Nadler infuriated Republicans by wrapping up the hearing just before midnight and postponing the votes until the morning, saying he wanted members on both sides of the aisle, quote, to think about what has happened over these last two days and to search their consciences before we cast their final votes, period, unquote. I don't know about you, but it seemed to me that President Obama did a whole lot of that, and nobody tried to impeach him, did they? I don't recall it, but then with my memory, maybe they did, and I, it didn't go through, and I don't remember it. Leave your comments below. I'll leave a link, and you can read the rest if you'd like. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.